Ah, there we go. Hey guys, uh, let me know where you're watching from. This is basically a test of a new streaming software I'm going to try out. If I don't like it... Um... Oh, there we go. Now I can put it on the front. All right. So uh, <clears throat> this is basically a test of some new streaming software called Streamlabs that I've never used before, but it has more functionality built into it. So I'm just testing it out. This live stream is, is purely and simply to play around with that. So uh, I'm taking you guys for a little bit of a ride. I didn't realize I was muted for the first seven minutes of this video, so uh, I was trying to talk. But uh, if you want to drop some comments, please do. And I would love to hear from you uh, in the comment section to test out this new streaming software I'm using. Um, it's got a like a theme overlay set up so that you can uh, so that I can and you and I can interact better. I'll take you guys on a short ride uh, through Binghamton, but uh, be sure to drop a uh, drop some comments and things like that so that I can see it come up on the side column over here. Uh, would be really appreciated. Someone says, congrats on 5K. Uh, we're almost there. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Oh, look at this idiot. This guy was in the wrong lane. What the heck? And now he's turning. Awesome. Anyway, yeah, so we're testing out a new streaming software program. Um, I don't know all the ins and outs of it yet. There's supposedly a way... Uh, supposedly a way for me to bring people onto the chat live, onto the video live with me. Uh, I haven't quite figured that out yet. You're welcome. It is really nice to see around the Binghamton area. We're currently on Broad Street. Um, uh, there's got to be a way to bring people into the fold. I'm supposed to be able to bring people up on screen with me for these live streams in this new software. I don't know if I'm going to keep it because there is a cost associated with it, but it has way more functionality built into it. And what I'm thinking about using it for initially um, is during the um, solar eclipse coming up, I'm going to have people that I, friends in multiple cities, join my live stream and point their cameras out the window so that people can get a view of the solar eclipse. I have a friend in Syracuse, I have a friend in New York City, although it's not really going to be anything special down there. Um, yeah. So that's the idea behind this. turning on to Bevere Street in a minute here. There's the chat. was winter this year was very easy very easy winter very easy winter so far not a lot of snow not a lot of anything really <clears throat> let me know uh, how you guys like the let me know how you guys like the stream so far. Let me know if the quality is good, if the audio is good, the stability of the image. I'm using a window holder that's not really designed for this per se, so I hope it's okay. It seems to be holding a steady 30 frames per second at the moment. <clears throat> 
supposedly this has uh, image uh, network disconnect protection, so if it were to stop working for whatever reason, the stream wouldn't get interrupted. So we'll see how that works. Let me know down in the comments where you're all watching from and what you're doing. I'm just on my way to pick up my kids. But uh, I figured I would test out the streaming software, see how we like it. Let me know what you're planning on doing for the upcoming solar eclipse. And if I can figure out um, one of the aspects of this streaming software is the ability to bring guests up on screen. Um, so I might test that out in a little while, I don't know. Um, I have to figure that out myself. Something with flashing lights is coming down the highway over here. <clears throat> Looks like it's just an oversized load. Somebody said, uh, watching from Tampa, Florida. Sneed Mobile Tech says, what up, man? Uh, not much. Uh, Sneed, I'm testing out Streamlabs. It's kind of expensive but it looks really good. Um, I might try it later tonight on Upstate Speed Test, my side channel for nerdiness. Heather, watching from Erie, Pennsylvania. Heather, if I figure out uh, how to do multiple guests on this software, which I know is possible, uh, maybe you could volunteer to be one of the live streamers for me. Uh, what I was thinking about doing is having a bunch of cameras connected to the same live stream, which again, I know you can do through this software, uh, and going live on this main YouTube channel with it. So that could be, uh, could be a fun idea. I think it's a fun idea. Libby says, watching in Ithaca, New York. We're on 17 westbound right now. And again, this, uh, Sneed says he's live streaming the eclipse to his channel. Yeah, Sneed, if you got an extra, uh, if you got an extra camera, I could put you in the live stream on April 8th that I'm thinking about setting up. And again, I'm just going to have like a bunch of different cameras set up for it. Um, in different cities from people I know, and I, I thought that'd be really interesting. Sneed says guests would have to be enabled on the YouTube setting before you start. Well, see, I thought that that was a feature I could uh, do through Streamlabs, but I don't know. Again, this is why I'm. This is why this current live stream is running. I'm, I'm testing out capabilities of Streamlabs. It's like $18 a month or $19 a month. Um, but yeah, I'm just playing around with it right now. Usually I just use Prism Live, uh, but I want to get, I want to get some more complicated live streams going for both channels. Uh, so this is really just me playing around with it. have my iPad with me, so maybe I can go into settings and play around with it some more uh, while this live stream is up and running. people are going to live stream the eclipse. YouTube's probably going to be full of it that day. CJ Greenman says, hello everyone. Oh, this fell in worse pothole. Sneed Tech says, I'm on 90 going north. 
So you're headed towards New York State? If you're headed towards New York, come over to Binghamton. I'll get you a speedy sub. <clears throat> Sneed, ironically enough, I forgot to turn off AT&T before this live stream started. So uh, this is going on... Uh, this is going on AT&T right now. <laughs> Shout out to Circled In. Although that's the wrong channel. This is the wrong channel. I'm going to pull over somewhere and look into this guest, this guest feature. Yeah, Sneed, I don't know if you've ever used Streamlabs, but its feature set is really impressive, so I wanted to give it a, sh uh, give it a try. And that's essentially what this is. I, I just activated the Ultra, uh, so I'm, I'm testing it out. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. If I like it, I'll probably cancel the monthly and just pay for the year, because it works out to be like $11 a month if you do the yearly. Um, and, you know, as long as it's profitable, as long as the, the live streams are pulling in enough money, um, you know, I can afford to do that. And just, I'll write it off on my taxes at the end of the year or something. I don't know. But, yeah, this, this live stream is riding on Streamlabs right now. Um, typically, I just use Prism Live, which is free. Uh, and it's fine for doing, like, a single live stream. But if I want to pull in guests and have the live stream be a little more dressed up, um, uh, Streamlabs seems to be the way to go. It just seems to be the, the easiest solution. Um, I just got to figure out how to use it. So this, this live stream is more or less practice for that. Uh, and I do like that it uh, in the live stream on my end, it shows me the bit rate of the connection, how many frames per second I'm pulling. And uh, funny enough, AT&T seems to be really stable for live streaming. I, I don't know that I've seen it have, it have an interruption or a glitch at all yet. <clears throat> so for those of you who are not from the area, this is North Street. And off in the distance, I also like that Streamlabs gives you the ability to see which camera lens you want to connect to. Off in the distance there is the former IBM facilities, many of which are slated for demolition in the too distant future. But yeah, the Streamlabs is pretty decent. Uh, you can switch between cameras easier. Um, you can switch between cameras easier and it just gives you more options. So maybe I'll start live streaming more often. Uh, especially over on Upstate Speed Test, the, the technology-based nerd channel that I started a year, year and a half ago. Um, you know, maybe we'll start getting more live streams going that way. <clears throat> Haven't tried Streamlabs desktop version yet, so that'll be, that'll be interesting. Got about 14 people watching. The stream is using about three megabits per second, pulling 30 frames a second. I think it does have the option to go up to 60. I always want to use 60 frames per second, but I always forget, I always forget to set it. It's kind of a weird day here weather-wise. It's on the warmer side, it's 55 right now. But it's also windy and cold, and it keeps raining, so that's not uh, that's not very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over here for a minute, and I'm going to see if I can figure out how to invite a guest up on the screen using Streamlabs. So bear with me one second. UPS man, 
working hard on his packages over here. I'm gonna pull in right here. I'll give you guys a good shot of the valley. Yeah, look at that. There's the former IBM buildings. And uh, Sneed, there's a AT&T cell site on the uh, hill over there that uh, also has T-Mobile and Dish on it more recently. Let me see how I can do this. Uh, Sneed, no they're not. Uh, AT&T is actually probably the most behind out of everyone. They have two sites out of, God knows, probably over a hundred uh, in the county uh, updated to C-Band that I know of and that show on the map. Sneed, you want to do a uh, you want to do a collaboration later? We'll go live on Upstate Speed Test together. Just talk anything wireless over there. So I'm downloading the Streamlabs controller app right now to see uh, if I can find a way to invite people into the live stream. Uh, CJ, this is streaming in 1080p on my end. Uh, if it's reduced or lower quality, it could just be YouTube on your end automatically downscaling it. Um,
Welcome guys, if you're just joining us, this is more or less a test of new streaming software I'm going to try out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much what's happening here if you're just watching. That's way too close to my face for comfort. <laughs> Hold on. Switch. Uh, how do I chat? Where do I chat? Where did I chat?
Use Kayak to book flights on days that cost less. Download the Kayak app now. All it takes is the Redfin app to imagine yourself in a whole new place. Download the app today. All it takes is the Redfin app to imagine yourself in a whole new place. Download the app today. All it takes is the Redfin app to imagine yourself in a whole new place. Download the app today. William Mead says, hello. Hey, William, how's it going?
we have meat says hello eight million months ago wow i don't know what's going on with the stream quality at the moment There we go, it's back. need one volunteer to click the link so I can see if it works appropriately. Please. Neat. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a test of this on desktop on Upstate Speed Test later. But if you want to click the link on this one and see if it works, that'd be great.
Hey, there's Hannah Banana. What's going on? This is what we've run into. It's a UK name. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. I can hear you too. Awesome. Right. You can hang up. It was just a test. Okay. Peace. Need, what's going on, man? My audio okay? Yeah, it actually sounds pretty all right. I'm just looking. I have, I have my iPad down here. I'm just looking to see if it came up right. For some reason on the live stream, you're upside down, though. I don't understand what... On my screen, you show correctly. On the live stream, you're sideways like that. So I don't know what that's all about. Oh, you know why? Because I might... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. This is weird. And now your audio is cutting in and out. Oh, there it, it corrected. There you go. Properly. Now I can hear you. And now you're... There we go. I had to reconnect to the... Uh, I had to reconnect to the existing live stream. There we go. I think I'm back. Hold on. Right. AirPods or iPhone microphone. So they got there's some granular controls in this software. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it, like my wife will kill me if I pay nineteen dollars a month for this, but it's so much better for the live stream environment. I I don't know. We'll see. I might just use it for the eclipse and that's it. It's true, I mean. You got StreamYard. I don't know what their pricing is for all of them on the different plans, but you could. Another one. Prism is another one. Yeah, so Stream StreamYard's actually works out to be more expensive because um, this software has a yearly option, and if you pay yearly, it comes out to like 12 bucks a month. And yearly puts you in a hefty upfront cost. You know what I mean? It does. It does. But for and my for my main channel, it's less than a year. It's less than a month of revenue. For itself, that's cool. You know. The audio on here is garbage, though. Yours keeps cutting in and out left and right, like it's barely legible. I don't know if it's just me on my end or what. I don't know. Ask the audience and see what they say. See if you can get some feedback. There, there was an audience while I was driving, but now there's like, it's just you. <laughs> this peaked at like 25 viewers at one point, I think. The, I the live stream cut out. Oh, man. All right, we'll continue this later on Upstate. And then when things work out right, people will bounce out of there. Yeah.